We got to What's going on guys? It's Bob from Olympus Iron. I just wanted to do like a little video. Not something I was thinking about. I'm on my way to work now. Um, and it's more or less just about respecting the process. And by respecting the process, I mean the process of transforming your body, the process of getting in the mindset of being a bodybuilder or a powerlifter or a crossfitter or any type of athlete is just the mentality that you gotta get into. Um, and some of the pet peeves that I have with people when they're getting into it. Um, first off, it is a process and it's something that people, and I don't know if it's laziness, but people don't seem to respect. And it's something that right off the bat, people want the direct answers. Right off the bat, I get the questions about how do I get bigger? How do I get more cut? And you know, I understand that I'm a personality in YouTube, even if I don't think myself as that way, is that I have an influence on what you guys think, and I challenge you guys like not to fucking listen to a word that you hear online, including mine, and take it as law. If you truly care about something and you truly want the process to be complete, eventually it will never be complete, but you know, you know what I'm saying, like you, you're you're firing on all cylinders. If you want that to happen, you need to take responsibility for your own goals and you need to do your own research and you need to become you need to become your own guru, really. And that's how that's how I really progressed because I, when I started lifting, I started following like my brother, you know, my friends who were who looked good and it was a good starting point, but it wasn't until I delved into what works for my body and I started doing tests that it really that it really took off for me. And all you people that are like, I can't gain weight or I can't cut or whatever, you're not experimenting enough. You're not putting enough time into it. Bottom line is, I don't want to say this, but you're not you're not dedicated enough to find out what it takes for your body. So you're willing to pay somebody else to do it for you. And they're going to do the same thing that you would have done. They're going to test you. They're going to put you on a, uh, a single diet of, you know, certain macros or, or a certain nutritional value. And they're going to check your progress weekly, bi-weekly. And they're going to say, you're losing weight. Okay, good. Uh, losing too much weight. Okay, we're going to add some calories back in. Okay, you're not losing weight. You're actually gaining weight. We've got to cut, drop your calories. It's, it's that simple, guys. And... You gotta factor in cardio. You gotta factor in the what type of job that you do. I just, you know, you gotta earn some respect when you're in the gym and you see somebody who looks better than you. This industry is so negative, and the first thing you want to say is, you know, roid it up or any of this bull crap that you could easily just be like, wow, that guy put in some time. You know, I don't care if it's pro hormones, I don't care if it's steroids, wherever he put some time into it. Even if he's natural, you know, he put some time into it. Respect it. Don't go up to the guy and start asking him how much he benches or any of this bullshit. Like, nobody wants to hear that. You know, if anything, just spread a word of positivity. Just be like, hey, man, good progress. You know, I must have took you a lot of hard work. And people respect that. You People respect when you respect their process. So respect other people's process and respect your own process. You know, and the process itself. You know, it's all about respect. And if you truly want to see the results and you truly want to strive to be the next level of athlete or the next level of anything, you got to respect the process. People that are too fucking entitled nowadays, you're not entitled to a goddamn thing in this world. The world doesn't give two shits about anything that you think you're entitled to. Because you know what? Everyone else has goals too. And you can't step on just everybody. I understand Arnold said you got to step on a couple people in order to get to the top and that's true but you got to do it in a respectable way you can't just it, it karma's karma's a bitch and if you just start stepping on people to, for your own personal gain especially in this industry or any industry um, it's gonna come it's gonna come right back around to you and I don't know it's a little rant video I mean I guess it's kind of informative too but you know it's just the fact that 
there's so many different stages of the process and once you reach a stage of the process that you're able to start giving back advice to people then you're starting to complete the process you know you start as a Padawan you become a Jedi and then you're starting to teach teach the force to the young ones but don't don't ever think that you're like <laughs> invincible because just like anything else research is constantly changing um, there's always gonna be people with better genetics out there and that's and that's it guys you know so go at it like a uh, go at it like you're doing a research study on a paper but do it about your body you know check all the sources check what check what you're putting in what's your output inputs and outputs that's all it is guys is what you're putting into your body and what what exercise you're doing just like anything else you want to know why you're not getting the promotion at the job in most cases check out your inputs and outputs what am I inputting in this job and what am I actually providing for my employer is this worthy of a promotion and then you look at the person ahead of you and be like what are they providing and what are they you might not obviously know everything but you can get a good idea anything in life imports and exports inputs and outputs whatever you want to call it but that's it guys so look inward in the next couple of weeks I feel like too many people focus on outside factors to influence them and you become a lamb to the slaughter guys lamb to the slaughter um, so don't be lambs guys be wolves go out there and, and get your own research test on your own body see what works and you're gonna have a ton of bro scientists out here because I think that's just like the uh, the new thing now is like okay I watched a Lane Norton video so I'm gonna be able to tell you about every single exercise biomechanics and physiology and if it fits your macros or anything like that don't let anyone ever tell you that something you're doing is wrong if you're getting results from it and positive results um, and it's consistent results because obviously things will give you short bursts of results and uh, not really be beneficial for your health in the long run um, that's it guys so look inward today guys and this is Bob from Olympus Iron. Check it out.